Hi everybody, back again with another unboxing. Uh, just two more to go. Oh, one more after, sorry, one more after this. This is the next part of the Zombie Side um, Invaders Kickstarter campaign gear, as it were. This is the Black Ops box. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing, as usual, is the rule book. And I apologise for the glare off the camera. Uh, hopefully I'll try and keep it off. It obviously gives you the components of what's in on here. Blah, 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 of what's in here. Again, nicely written out. Great artwork. Very easy to follow. So I'll just quickly flick through. Got some new tiles, new missions. Quite a lot in it. If we skip through to the back, show you on the back page. It gives you a breakdown of how to play and the targeting priority. You also get um, these effect tokens, area effect tokens. A set of those which I won't use because I've got the plastic versions. You get some punch outs, some extra punch outs. Double sided. Now take a look at the game boards. There's actually three game boards, obviously double sided again. So I'll give you a look on these. Really nice artwork, as always. And while I'm doing this video, um, you've probably already seen it, but people who don't know, um, the original Zombie Side game is being remade um, it's coming out on kickstarter very soon i think within the next couple of weeks or so um, they're going to do another another campaign it's an updated version of it with different rules on how to make the game a bit quicker so it doesn't last as long uh, obviously new sculpts of the characters and i believe they have some um, you have the chance of playing as children as well um, with different mechanics for those so Keep an eye out for that. But anyway, back to this video. And the final board. Fantastic artwork. I'd love to be able to make this myself in 3D to really make it stand out, but I ain't that clever. We get um, a load of equipment cards and spawn cards. So I'll just show you a few of these. We have several different types of equipment to add to your growing arsenal. Haven't played this game yet. Um, I probably won't play it till probably Christmas time when I get my nephews and nieces around at Christmas Day. And here we have some activation cards for the Juggernaut Abomination, which you'll see a miniature of in a little while. So you get quite a few cards there. Also, um, you get your markers so you know who's what color you're playing and you get uh, another set of bases always handy and you get your i think there's uh one two three there's about six of these i think but there's your character sheet board or as it's called, uh, my terminology is really awful at the moment. It's your dashboard. There you are, got it in the end. Where you put all your cards, your equipment, your hit points, uh, your experience down, down the bottom. You've seen it all before. Thick plastic will last. Now we'll move on to the miniatures themselves. So we'll start with the Abomination. The actual colour of this is like a very, very pale, uh, very pale brown. It looks grey on colour on the screen here because of the light of the camera. But that's the Abomination. Also, we get a sentry gun. 
I expect this would be quite powerful, but it'll probably be hard to get hold of. But when it's on the board, I think this will probably do a hell of a lot of damage. And another sentry gun. And we now move on to the heroes. We have two, four, six heroes. So hopefully I'll be able to pick them out. So the first one we'll take a look at is Solomon. And his card, obviously double-sided. Get the glare off. Uh, just bear with me a sec while I try and find him. Uh, I can't actually see which one he is, to be honest with you. Uh, looks like it could be this guy. I apologise if I pick the wrong characters for the cards. Next up we have Maria. And her stats. So here we go, if I can find Maria. And she's got a gun up, so I'm assuming this is Maria. Then we have Kyle. And his stats. Again, not playing the game. I can't tell you exactly. Let's just get that glare off what he can do. But his miniature is quite easy to see. Because he's got the huge kick-ass gun. Looks suspiciously like space type of space marines from the... Uh, Warhammer Universe. This looks like a very similar gun to what they use. I hope they don't get any copyright on that. Then we have Jean or Jean. Depends how you want to pronounce it. So he's got a pair of goggles on his head. So we'll look for a guy with some goggles on his head. And there he is. I don't do any research or anything like that before I make my videos, which is why sometimes some of the things I say aren't quite correct. But um, uh, there you go. Really nice miniatures. Uh, just two more to look at. We have Fiona. And her stats. And she's got a head, some headgear on. And she's got a gun up in the air. So I'm assuming that this is Fiona. Come on, camera focus, thank you. You see a hell of a lot of detail in these miniatures here. Obviously, when they're painted, they're going to look pretty damn good. And we have last one, Andre. With his stats. And his character is this one. I have painted a few more minis since last time. Uh, but when I've got a huge amount of them done, I will show you them. So that's what's in the Black Ops box. I just want to show you one other little box on this video. It's the deck holder set. That you can get you have to put it together so you've got the blue and the orange and i haven't actually put it together yet but this is how they look in the packaging always handy stops cars from sliding about in play so yeah there you go that's the black ops box uh the final one we've got to look at is the dark side expansion box so that will be the next video. So until then, as always, thanks for watching.